David Shaw here with another off the record story. If you want to learn more about Washington, D.C., come visit my site, offtherecordtours.com. Let's go. The first fatal accident in 19 years of nuclear reactor operation in the United States occurred at the Atomic Energy Commission's National Reactor Testing Station in Idaho on January 3rd, 1961. Richard Leroy McKinley is 26 years old. He's from Ohio, married with three children. And he's one of three people who were the first to be killed in a nuclear accident in the United States. McKinley had survived the fighting in Korea. A career soldier, he was working on the SL-1 reactor, a small nuclear power plant that the Army hoped could power its radar outposts in the Arctic. An accident with the reactor core caused a powerful explosion that killed McKinley and his two colleagues. His body was so riddled with radiation that rescue teams could only handle it for a few minutes at a time. The lining of standard metal caskets and vaults with lead sheeting resulted in final gamma readings at the outer surfaces of the vaults not exceeding 300 milliroentgens per hour generally. This was sufficiently low to permit shipment. On January 13th, the bodies were released to the Department of Defense, which then arranged for burial services in accordance with wishes of the families at private and national cemeteries. On January 23rd, a C-54 cargo plane landed at Bowling Air Force Base in Washington. Inside was McKinley's lead line casket that was sealed in a concrete vault. The vault was removed from the plane and placed on a flatbed truck for the trip across the river to Arlington. At Arlington, the grave digger was instructed by the Atomic Energy Commission to dig the grave three feet deeper than usual and line it with concrete. His burial service was short. Guests sat about 20 feet away about this distance. After taps was played and people dispersed, the cement mixer pulled up and poured more concrete into the grave that was then covered with topsoil. A memo was entered into the file at the cemetery's office stating that this grave site should never be disturbed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that off the record story. If you want to learn more about Washington, D.C., things seen and unseen, arrange your tour of your nation's capital at offtherecordtours.com. Until then, I'm David Shaw.